Hello friends, this video on respiration in plants part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Any osmotic hypothesis. We have already discussed about this in our previous lesson, but still let us repeat it once again. So this hypothesis describes the process of ATP synthesis. So a proton gradient develops across the mitochondrial inner membrane. As I said, this is the inner membrane. So a proton gradient develops. Here too many protons get collected. And inside the proton concentration is less. So therefore a gradient develops across this membrane. Breakdown of this gradient release energy. When I say breakdown of this gradient, that means right now the gradient is there. That means this portion it is very high concentration this portion the concentration is very less but as soon as they started the protons start to flow from this region to this region what will happen the proton gradient will begin to decrease so the breakdown of gradient will occur and this breakdown of gradient will release energy which will be utilized to form ATP or which will be utilized to synthesize ATP so that is the concept of any osmotic hypothesis let us see how this actually works. Now the complex 5 which I was talking about is the enzyme ATP synthase. So complex 5 is nothing but ATP synthase and this is the structure of ATP synthase. Now here I have shown it, I mean if you magnify the enzyme is present here, something somewhere like this. So if you magnify it, this would look something like this. So this region is the intermembrane space. And this region is the matrix, right? So the gray color part is the matrix and the white color part represents this pink color part here. So the question is how does the gradient breakdown occur? How the protons start to flow across the membrane? Now movement of protons occurs through the transmembrane channel of the ATP synthase enzyme. So if you see here, this is the channel of the ATP synthase enzyme. So before that, let us look at the structure of ATP synthase enzyme. This enzyme has two parts, F0 and F1. So F0 is this part which forms a transmembrane channel. That is a channel-like or a tunnel-like structure through the membrane. So it allows the protons to flow through it. And the next part is F1 which connects the inner surface of the mitochondrial inner membrane towards the matrix. So if you see this F1 part connects the membrane towards the matrix. So now the concentration of the ions is more on this side. Right? Now when the proton gradient develops, this enzyme gets activated. So the ATP synthase gets activated and once the enzyme is activated, it allows these H plus ions to flow through it. Now as soon as this H plus ions start to flow through it, they will start flowing from this region, that is region 1, to region 2. As a result, the gradient breakdown will occur and when the gradient breakdown occurs, a lot of energy will be released and that energy will be utilized for the phosphorylation of ADP to form ATP. So as this hydrogen ions will move this side, the energy which is released will be utilized for this conversion and it has been observed that two H plus ions are required to pass through the membrane to produce one molecule of ATP. So when two H plus have reached here, then ADP can get converted into ATP so that phosphorylation can take place. So this is how ATP is synthesized. So I hope the concept is clear now. First of all, you have to understand that a proton gradient develops and the proton gradient develops because of the passage of electrons through the electron transport chain. Okay, now once the gradient develops, ATP synthase enzyme gets activated, which is present on the inner membrane. Once the enzyme is activated, the protons break down, the gradient breakdown will occur, which will release energy, which in turn will help in synthesizing ATP. So let us look at the ATP synthesis process. So gradient breakdown release enough energy. ATP synthesis enzyme is activated. ATP synthase catalyze the formation of ATP. As I said, this ADP, it will take one inorganic phosphate and add on to this to form ATP. So that is how ATP formation will take place. 
So now I have tried to explain you this process of electron transport system step by step on different slides. So now with the help of an animation, I will try to show you how this entire process of electron transport system leads to the synthesis of... Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.